if everyone can hear me. Uh, if you can, just uh, wherever chat is, I actually wonder if I, oh, there we go. Trying to set this up here. I guess we're sort of on time, but uh, not 100%. Yeah, I'm going to All right. So there's Fred. Hello, Fred. Bonjour, Paul. Welcome, Emma. Story. First things first, I'm not Jeff Warren. <laughs> I'm filling in for Jeff. Uh, Jeff, and, uh, Jeff and the Warren family are all great, um, but they had a conflict for a friend's birthday party, I believe, and that is why I'm here. So, and um, my uncle, my uncle used to be a truck driver, and I think that's why I have a particular fondness to uh, truck stops. And I, you can't quite see this. I, I'm going to resist the urge right now to touch my phone and try to pan to show everybody. But I'm at one of my favorite truck stops on the I-10 in between Tucson and Phoenix. I live in Tucson. Some of you probably know. Um, and so my uncle died. Uh, his death anniversary is past to now six years. Um, and so a little bit of inspiration in the I decided we would do today's Do Nothing Project from the truck stop. Um, and then, uh, yeah, so which truck stop? Uh, Saban will know. Saban, uh, for folks, Saban also lives in Arizona. This is uh, Traveler uh, Travel Centers of America, or just the TA for short. Um, and it is, I'm trying to think of Toltec. I'm on off Toltec Road. So if you happen to be close, uh, come stop by and uh, meditate in the parking lot with me. Um, so for folks that don't know, uh, my name is Andrew Leonard. So I'm a certified mindfulness meditation coach, and I'm usually over in the chat moderating. So I'm, a, I'm an individual in the blue font. Uh, and I will fill in from time to time. Uh, and today is one of those times. So uh, what, what to expect? Uh, keep your expectations low. Very, 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 very low. Uh, and that will be beneficial. And it's beneficial not just in uh, not just in <laughs> in this, but it's somewhat beneficial in life, I think, to keep expectations low, uh, potentially. So um, I am um, trying to think of or trying to highlight some of the things I would like to think about today as far as a um, as a theme. We usually have a theme. Um, before I talk about the theme, also setting expectations for how much time you'll have with us, we do a 25-minute sit. The 20, uh, 20 of those minutes is very light guidance. And then we finish with a five-minute friendliness or loving-kindness practice. And so uh, what we'll be doing, um, I will try to thread in a few things around this theme. And so um, a lot of you will know... Um, Jeff, uh, Jeff co-wrote a book with uh, Dan Harris. I was listening to the 10% ha uh, Happier podcast recently, and I'm missing so many different chats here. I should, I'll have to pause here and say hi to everybody. But um, I was listening to David Nickturn uh, on the podcast recently, and uh, the he didn't say exactly this, but I left or came away from that podcast with, this feeling of that you are the magic ingredient to your practice. Uh, and that sort of is like a universal you, like not just like you doing the practice, but all of you in doing the practice with this you. Uh, and so that's kind of the thing I'm thinking about is this you is the magic or special ingredient to practice. Uh, and you know, where else would you, where, where else would you find yourself, uh, but at a truck stop sometimes. So, um, quick, quick hellos here. I want to make sure I say hi to, to, um, well, I said hi to Fred at the top, Saban. Uh, I'm a Deb B. Hello. Um, Sonali, uh, Chris. Hello. Uh, Rita, Bonnie, uh, Marjorie. Uh, Hey Kelly. Um, Trisha. Bob, Jeff McPee, uh, Lynn. Lynn is, uh, so it's Monday for Lynn. Lynn is in Australia. 
Hello there, Heather. And I was trying to see if I missed other folks. I think I said hi to Emma before. Oh, Colette and Jennifer, Jennifer S, Bonnie, Barbara, hello. Hello uh, to Alberta or Cal Calgary in Alberta. Alberta being wild rose country. Actually, just uh, I just saw someone with a travel trailer pulling in front of me with a, a wild rose country plates. I think that's the provincial um, motto. Hello to Rod. Rebecca, Patrick, welcome back, Victoria, Holly, and Mitch, of course. Hello, Mitch. And Mao, Lynn, the other Lynn, or I shouldn't say the other Lynn, Lynn J. Um, and then Bill, uh, Bill Barrett, hello. Okay, so um, I think we know where we're headed. I think hopefully you'll know who I am. So then we're going to do this thing. Some of you might know from, I think it was, I think we ended up calling it Duck Dive. Uh, Jeff did a visual bell instead of doing an audible bell. I dug around in my trunk to see if I had my travel, my travel meditation bell, and I don't. So we're going to use the bunny. So when I bring the bunny up, that'll be the start of our sit. And then when the bunny comes back, I'll at least audibly let you know that the bunny has returned. So that'll be how we start and end our sit. And before we begin, I uh, want to make sure to call out that if you're here for uh, community and you want to put me kind of in the background, you can totally do that. Uh, you can allow me to just be kind of a, get another uh, stimulus in your surrounding space. Uh, and you can always do your own practice. Like uh, we'll highlight at the beginning, your whatever your practice, if you wanna go ahead and do that, that's super welcome. Um, and then I've got a timer and we will, <laughs> yeah, don't let truck stop you. Um, but yeah, we'll, we'll go ahead and do this thing. Um, and if I've forgotten anything else, like mention, you can always kind of mention that in chat and if you have reports or questions at the end um you're totally welcome to offer those up too so thanks again for being here all right so just settling in and finding a posture that will help you be mostly still you don't have to be sort of statuesque still and again, we're kind of looking for a posture that's upright without being uptight. And I'll focus on the seated posture, but if you're standing or lying down or walking, it's totally valid as well. And as you settle in, just seeing if you can get a bit of what the inner weather is like for you at the moment. So before you sit, what's already here? So before you were sitting, you might have been hurtling down a interstate at 75 miles an hour. And now you're still, but sometimes the mind can still be moving even though you are still. It's just sort of offering enough patience to let the mind settle in. And one way to encourage that from a sort of physiological move is to do a few deliberate breaths. Slow and low is the tempo we're looking for, cribbing from the Beastie Boys. Breathing in through the nose allows us to breathe low into the belly. And then just extending and accentuating our exhale.
so we're maybe traveling back and forth between different places, but this is just an opportunity for us to take the load off. Pause. Maybe just kind of sit and know that we're sitting. Practice won't always be restful, but sometimes when we are just settling into the posture and giving ourselves a little bit of patience and allowing the settling, we might get a little taste of the beginning of rest. One consequence of you being the magic ingredient of your practice is that you don't have to do anything. You just be you. And then as I say that, you can kind of feel the potential of some judging mind coming up. Maybe a little bit of, what does that even mean? begin with this stance of not needing to do anything. And just touching into that. You might hear us say at times, you know, if you feel resourced enough to do something, you know, try this. Well, what does that mean? So if we're sort of standing up and we need to lean on something a bit, there's nothing wrong with that. But if the stance of kind of just being isn't really available, can use an anchor or a home base to give ourselves stability. Of course, that could be the breath, but it can also be sounds. So that home base is available for you if you don't feel like the being is totally there. And 
so I'm going to let you explore. Again, you have the option of dropping all the doing and just being, or you have the home base. And then I'll check in in a bit.
And just a reminder, it's sort of, it's up to you. You get to make the practice real. So when someone offers a guided meditation, we're providing a pointer, but it's you that put that into practice. You make that real. So at this point in this sit, you might notice there's something about experience that's more particularly interesting than usual. So you could pivot and explore that a bit more. Or maybe there's an opportunity with what's happening. Maybe you need to sort of focus out and away from experience out of necessity. And again, still available. Again, up to you. Resting in the beingness or leaning into the home base.
Okay, and then with the time we have left, we'll shift into a friendliness practice. And what I'm going to offer in this edition is a kind of connection, seeing if you can stoke or feel connections. So the sounds around me may or may not be bleeding into your uh, into your connection. There's lots of the sounds of people going places. Sort of the sounds of shipping and receiving. So just offering uh, gratitude for everyone involved with uh, loaf of bread that's in your kitchen or one of the toiletry products that you use to feel human. The tanker truck drivers who keep filling stations stocked. folks that are sort of essential and often forgotten. Just seeing if you can bring to mind some connection with those folks, connection with what they've done for for you and for me and for their family. Pulling it back a bit, thinking about all the people that were involved with the infrastructure that made that possible. The construction, the asphalt, the legislators. Seeing if you can touch into the sort of incomprehensible web of support that uh, makes that sort of thing possible. Drawing back a little more and just including our whole community in that. Including all the YouTube infrastructure and all the telecommunication systems that YouTube uses. Bringing us together from truck stop to your home. All points in between. nod for sort of all the practitioners who have passed
passed on and made meditation a thing that we can all do. And there is the white rabbit, and you can follow the white rabbit off screen. <laughs> Thank you for your practice. Thank you for being part of this community. Thank you for your patience. <laughs> um, it's kind of a weird, uh, weird thing to pull off, and I feel like we probably pulled it off. <laughs> so, um, so, yeah. Uh, I don't know, the road noise is really loud for me. And so I don't know if that comes through or if YouTube filters it out. So um, maybe we'll, uh, I'll get, when I get a chance to listen to this back. So, and then thanks to my mom who got this rabbit in my Easter basket for me. Um, so my uncle Bob was, um, I always feel like everybody has an uncle Bob, but my uncle Bob was just an incredibly cool guy. And he was a, truck driver he was a dj on a country music uh radio station and he was the announcer at a dog track so he was the person who called out the and here comes sparky um so as a kid i thought he was the the trifecta of cool like how cool could that be so um okay so yeah see so, okay johnny and hey johnny um, yeah, the road sounds, um, it's, so it's, a, it may not actually, you might hear it low in the distance, but, um, it is definitely something, uh, if you ever stayed at a hotel near uh, an interstate, um, you can definitely pick up on that. So it's, it's an interesting thing. Um, so yeah, it is the end of the month, which means that tomorrow, Monday is the first day, um, oh, can you, and you can see kind of trucks off to the side. Okay, cool. Well, then I parked in an amazingly good spot. Um, tomorrow is a new, new month, which means it's a new theme for the Consciousness Explorers Club. Uh, I believe that Aaron Oak is your guide tomorrow, and I think the theme is being with trees or about trees. Uh, if you are a subscriber to their newsletter, you'll know this already. Uh, and so, and if somebody knows, you can correct me in chat. <laughs> but I, I, I read, um, I believe Jeff's, Jeff's sister wrote this month's essay. Um, and so, but Aaron is your guide tomorrow, friend of the um, friend of the Do Nothing Project, and often fill in as well. Uh, and then folks will know um, that I do a meditation on Wednesdays. Uh, it's at 8.15 Eastern, um, and then, I don't know if you can figure out the times from that. I think it's 11.15, maybe it's not 11.15 anymore, maybe the time change has happened in Australia. But I think it's, it's 11.15 Thursday the next time, so uh, that is, uh, that happens in the middle of the, middle of the week. Um, Jeff should be back next week. So, um, yes, don't forget the CEC is a nonprofit and benefits heavily from, uh, from your donations. Uh, you can donate through the website. Go to cecmeditate.com. Uh, you can donate through PayPal, and they do have a Patreon. Uh, all of the uh, sits are recorded and available. You should totally check that out. And then the Mind Bod Adventure Pod is season two is still going. Uh, check that out. And then home base with Jeff, all one word, dot com. That is where you'll find meditations each week from Jeff. That is the Substack. And this week was a Hey Jeff, uh, the second installment of Hey Jeff. 
Um, and that is, I believe, available for folks that are doing monetary support for the Substack. So I think that's everything, maybe. Um, and then I'm gonna pause for a moment to give myself a screen, uh, a thumbnail <laughs> that I can use for this video. Um, thank you everyone uh, for making it on a Sunday. Um, been super fun to sit in my car with all y'all and guide you through a meditation. Um, have an excellent rest of your Sunday and have an excellent week if I don't see you on Wednesday. So signing off. Hopefully I didn't miss any questions. I didn't see any questions now that I've... Okay, yeah, so Jeff, I, yeah, Jeff pointed out um, I did mention the... There. All right. Awesome. Hopefully I didn't miss any. If if you had a question or a report or something that you wanted my take on, um, you can reach out to me on Instagram. Uh, it's the spelling of my last name. So leonards.coaching is how you would find me on Instagram. And then on YouTube, it's Andrew Leonards. You can tell I need my glasses to read this stuff. So thank you so much. You're also welcome. Welcome, Bob. Um, I will drive home safely, Saban. Thank you. Awesome. Okay, Mitch, very faint road noise. Yes, we definitely jammed Econo. Awesome. All right, well, um, this has been a, this is one of my favorite uh, DMPs. So um, thanks, everybody. All right, see ya.